the uninitiated, bantam chickens are dwarf varieties of regular chickens. They have unique features that typical chickens do not usually have. A bantam chicken, it, uh, in general, is uh, one-fourth to one-fifth the size of a standard chicken. There are also more than 50 breeds of bantams. Each breed has a particular attribute and uh, color mutation, which makes it very striking. Described as ornamental pets, bantams usually have attractive feathered patterns and color combinations, large ear patches, feathered crests, stately beards, ear muffs, long tails, or feathered legs. One of the more popular breeds are the Seabrights, which is a visually stunning bantam in two colors. So, atawag dito silver Seabright. Tapos yung kabila naman, golden Seabright. So, sa breed na to, uh, dalawang colors lang. Ang originator nito, si John Seabright. Uh, yung 1800s, uh, Niya to, uh, using five different breeds of chickens. And to perfect this color, color and this particular breed, it took him and his friends about 30 years. Another common breed is the white crested polish, which has one of the most developed crests among the chicken breeds. Uh, if you will look at the crest, it's not just made up of feathers. It has a huge bump on its forehead with, uh, with flesh where the feathers grow. These breeds of domesticated chickens are social animals that like to live in groups. As such, bantams are best kept in small families of one rooster with two or three hens. A particular breed has a different character. Like the old English game bird uh, evolved from, from the fighting cocks. So these uh, birds are territorial and they will fight even the chickens which are five times their size. In contrast, we have the Barbude watermal, uh, which are very gentle. Uh, you can put two cocks together and uh, they will not fight. The general trait of each bantam would depend on the particular breed. But even within a breed, uh, individuals have different characters as well. Mr. Emnas insists that it takes no special talent to rear bantams. He would treat his feathered friends the same way as he would with livestock animals. Taking care of chickens is very easy, uh, since, especially since many Filipinos are already into breeding uh, fighting cocks and native chickens. This is not much different because it's uh, the same species. And uh, with regards to poultry, there are a lot of uh, poultry supplies all over the country who can provide the feeds, the vitamins, the uh, antibiotics, the vaccines, everything. So it's well supported as a, as a pet. That's one good thing about it. However, bantams are not as well adapted as our native chickens. Since these chickens have been acclimated to Europe and the United States, they may not be able to adjust easily to local conditions and thus fall prey to diseases. The best prevention is to ha have a well-balanced nutritious diet. Uh, secondly, the premises and the cages should be cleaned regularly so that the the breeding areas of the bacteria and the viruses will be disrupted. Other breeds with unusual appendages more often than not require special care from their owner. Like this long-tailed uh, chicken, you have to take care of their tails uh, and the crested ones, you have to wash their face because they are prone to eye infection and ear infection. The feather-footed also need to have special care for their, the feathers in their foot. Because they're, if they're in contact with the soil, they will attract mites and uh, other bacteria. For others like Mr. Amnas who would like to go into the ambitious goal of breeding, a fair technical know-how is needed. It's fairly simple. Uh, you just put the male and female together. And then males will co copulate. And then uh, after several days, the, the chickens will lay eggs. I just gather all the eggs and put them inside the incubator. So the, the incubation period is about... 21 days. See it? Is, are you kissing it? Yeah. <laughs> Bantams are one particular pet which is uh, suitable even for children. Hobbies like us use this uh, breeding as a stress reliever. I want people to realize that uh, there are, just like dogs, there are a lot of different breeds of chickens. Not all of them are meant for slaughter, for eggs, or for fighting. Uh, there's also 
a use for them as an ornamental pet. May you be a chicken aficionado or not, just one look at these bantams and one would say they are truly spectacular, majestic birds that can be everyone's treasured pet.